What's up? Larissa here with Shanti Moves, bringing you another how-to video on yoga poses. Uh, if you're new to this channel, we've got 30 days of how-to yoga poses. So if you're looking to refine your practice, figure out how to get those moves down, feel free to check out that channel or that playlist rather, and it should be able to help you out. At least I hope so. That's what I'm aiming for. Anyways, today we are doing chair pose. The number one feared pose, I believe, by most yogis in the yoga practice. I definitely struggled with this pose in the beginning, and I know a lot of other people did too. So that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video, and I hope it can help you out as well. So chair pose, awesome, fiery, hard, strength builder, strength builder in the legs, in the core, in the shoulders. It's really got a lot of activation, and that's why it can be really challenging at first. So. If you want to join me, learn how to do it, let's go down to the mat. Okie doke. So, chair pose. Everybody's most feared pose in the yoga practice. Um, yeah, it's a tough pose. It can be really challenging in the beginning. So stick with me. I hope these cues and action steps can help you find your chair pose. So I'm gonna start from the side angle here so you can see what's going on. Uh, let's start with feet together on this first one. So we're gonna do balls of the feet together, heels slightly apart, and this kind of can make it a more stable chair pose in the beginning. And then I want you to bring your hands to your hips. Good. All right, and at first we're just going to look down at our toes. Maybe grip the mat with our toes. Again, suction, suction cup feet. And then see if you can lift all the toes off the mat. Maybe shift the weight back a little bit into the heels and then set them back down. So try to keep that weight in the back of the heels throughout this posture. All right, next step, bend the knees. Doesn't have to be super deep, but this is what happens after we bend the knees that I see a lot. So we tend to daffy duck butt and lose the integrity in our lower back, and that can put some not so great pressure there. So to help with that, let's place a hand on our belly and a hand on our lower back, on our sacrum. And then we're just gonna gently glide. So press down with the lower back, pull up with the belly hand. And that kind of can give you that sensation of tucking the tailbone slightly, bringing that engagement into the core. And then we're gonna bring the hands back to the hips. Good. All right, now we're going to sink the hips back like we're sitting into a chair, bending the knees slightly, going a little bit deeper. And then look down at your toes. If you can still see at least the tips of your toes in front of your knees there, that's good, that's what we want. If you can't see them, try to shift that weight back into the heels again. Good. All right. So now we're gonna bring the arms and shoulders into it. So inhale, take those arms up. I like to go wide. It feels better on my shoulders. You don't have to go wide. In fact, you can go hands together, whatever feels good for your shoulder girdle. The only thing I want you to be aware of here is keeping the shoulders down. So we tend to reach forward and then our shoulders go up by our ears and creates a lot of tension and compression that we don't need. We got enough tension and compression in our neck and shoulders. So relax the shoulders down, kind of plug the shoulders into their sockets is what we like to say. And then find the breath. Whew, okay. Last thing. We want to bring the chin down slightly. So another thing that happens is we want to look up and we get that crink in the backside of our neck. And that's not so great for the, you know, the prana flow, the neck, everything. So just tuck the chin, 
to lengthen the back of the neck. Find a focus point and find the breath. Maybe sink a little bit deeper. Whoo, it's burning, it's burning, but we love it. All right, and the favorite part of the chair pose, inhale, stand up. Whew. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple more options here for this next one. If you have a block or a book, of preferably a thick book, we're gonna place that in between our thighs. Good, so your feet are at hip width dis distance. Ah. All right. And then we're squeezing the block with our, with our thighs. And that can kind of make you feel that coming togetherness of the legs, which uh, can be hard to kind of feel that sensation at first. So if you didn't feel it in the first uh, chair we did, then this might help. Good. So then hands on the hips again. Lift the toes. Shift the weight to the heels. Lower the toes. Bend the knees. Sink the hips back, kind of lean forward with the chest, but keep that nice long spine. Tailbone tucking, belly up and in. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders plugging into those sockets. Thumbs up to the sky. Chin tuck to chest. Lengthening the back of that neck. Beautiful, find the breath. Maybe sink it deeper. Take your time. We're trying to figure out what's working for us and what's not, where we need to focus. Beautiful, and inhale, stand up. Whoo, chair pose. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you got some value out of this, please like and subscribe. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. I would look forward to hearing anything you have to say, uh, any requests you have. And I guess until the next one, namaste. Ow. You another awesome video on how to